Well, today you guys get the payoff for sitting through those boring videos of painstaking paint preparation. Let's see how it all pays off. Here we are finishing the outside of the starboard float. It takes about a half hour to go down each side of the boat, either the inside or the outside. Plus you have the whole deck and the cockpit and the four beams. So that's 10 major boat parts, each taking about a half hour each plus paint mixing and wipe down prep. It's pretty much a full day job to do each coat. Here we go with most of the first coat on. Haven't done port side main hull back here, but it's getting too late in the day. So it's kind of splotchy, to be expected with first coat. This was done actually yesterday, so it's dry. Definitely have some, not pinhole, well, bubbles, air bubble prop problems. Had a little issue with, it was too hot and my um, reducer mix wasn't quite right and I don't think I had cleaned the surface well enough. So today's work came out much better. You can see how shiny it is. Splotchy here. So I was experimenting with the amount of thinner. Yeah, that's kind of crappy. All that, after a little wet sanding, tomorrow we'll take it second coat pretty well. Cockpit's done, just the gray areas is where the non-skid's going, so I didn't bother putting the finished paint down there. I'm really loving how this is coming together. Oh, right, it's still through the beams. That's a big one. Okay, this painting takes a long time. I did do the bottom of the boat, lay on my back, got all that done. I think that'll probably just have the one coat. It looks really good under there don't want to add unnecessary weight and the bottom was already in really good shape I don't know if you guys want to see more painting it's just me rolling it's not that exciting I'm pretty happy so far on it goes it's definitely looking better as a monochrome white boat okay we're doing the 320 grit sand on the first coat of paint this step is a total heartbreaker look at this nice pretty paint smooth shiny see the gloss and I gotta sand it matte. But you do this to get really good adhesion between the coats. And you can see once I come out here, it's very inconsistent how the first coat has cured up. So I hate doing this, but it's part of the process. Do that for this entire hull side and the other side. The floats and the decks have all been done uh, both with this method and around all the little parts where the sander won't go. A soft sanding block with a 320 wet and dry paper done by hand and a bucket. Well, I actually have the hose with me and keep it all wet so it doesn't stick as I go. Okay, I'll get all this done. It's 10 a.m. I hope to be able to get second coat of paint on today. Big day. Hey, Christmas in October. I'm going to unpack our Cobligo synthetic rigging terminals that we needed. Okay, here's a chain plate distributor for our new carbon chain plates. I need to now cut a notch in the plate and stick this guy in so the pin will go through here. And the super smooth area is where the adjusting lashing lines will go. Very nice. The anodizing is beautiful. It's got nice, um, looks like G10 fiberglass reinforced plastics bushing here to keep the aluminum away from the steel and carbon. Time to put the chain plate distributor into the chain plate. So this is gonna go up to the mast. That's where the lashings go. It's gonna get pinned to the big chain plate here, but it can't sit on the end, it has to be centered in here. So we need to cut a slice out of this thing. It would have been nice to do this on the workbench and put this into the boat last month. 
already cut, but I didn't have this piece and I wasn't able to get my ordering sorted out. So I'm having to do it after the fact. So I've taken all this, that's the center point, done my measures, that's as low as I want the slot to be. That's a quarter inch up. I'm gonna use a half inch drill because this is a half inch wide and create the bottom of the slot with the drill. And then we'll take the um, oscillating tool and make the slices down. bit to match these two holes up. Okay, they're nicely aligned. Let's go back to the big bit. Just trying to be really careful not to touch the deck here. Here's the blade we're going to use on the multi-tool and follow my lines down. This little coping saw. Finish it off. There we go. Okay. My little abrasive finger blade for the uh, oscillator. Great for shaping little things like this. And during the last rain shower, I took two bolts that have been used elsewhere, didn't need them anymore. And I've trimmed the heads off, trimmed the threads off, punched holes in. Oh, nice, there we go, we're done. Perfect washers on either side, permanent cotter pins, a nice snug fit here. In fact, a little bit of play so I could squeeze a little plastic in between there, which is what I wanted. Okay, other side's done also. I'm going to sand these edges right here and get some primer in there. Job done! So this boat got painted with my go-to stuff, Alex Seal. The founders of Alex Seal used to work at All Grip, and they went off and started their own firm. So this is the first product, primer. Uh, their finished primer is what you use after you've done any high build stuff. They have a high build primer too, but this boat really didn't need high build, so I started right here. I very intentionally use gray primer because it covers um, all the inconsistencies of carbon versus glass and putty. If you just use a white primer, that often will sort of stain through, but the gray covers it all instantly. So you go primer and it's matching converter, and also some reducer. It ends up being quite a bit, like up to 25%. So this job, the F25C, all three holes, the whole deal, took about a gallon of primer. And when I say a gallon, that means a gallon here, plus the matching. See, this is one-to-one, -one. so it was also a gallon of converter. And I went through probably full quart of reducer on the primer job. Then when it came to the finished coat, I used uh, Alex Seal Top Coat 501. This color, that's the color number, 9130, off-white. And it gets Top Coat Converter, and this is uh, two-to-one. 
this job went through, I think, four quarts of a gallon here. That would have been a half gallon here. And also its reducer. And I did about 25% uh, reduction. Part of why Alex Seal is fantastic is this little gem here. Their roll additive. You put in 10 milliliters per quart of mixed paint. You let the mix the paint, just the two parts. Let it um, induct in its can for at least 15 minutes after it has been mixed. Then, just before rolling on, you come in with your 10 milliliters of roll additive. This eliminates the tipping process, so one person can roll on, and then you don't have somebody coming behind you with a tipping brush. Once that's settled in, then you finally do your reducer right before you go to paint. Uh, I've gone through a lot of different rollers. These red trees are the only ones that sort of hold up against the solvents in these paints. I can get about 30 minutes per roller. And if you start to see it crumble, throw it away and get another one. The red tree... Okay, so this is for the finished paint, the foam rollers. And the fabric rollers uh, are for the primer. And the reason is the primer solvent is even tougher. It shreds these within moments. This is the only roller I found to hold up to these primers. And that's why Svensson's only sells this brand. And then this is my go-to solution. These Pelican buckets because they've got these liners. They sell this at Home Depot or a lot of the marine chandleries. And it fits the four, four inch roller system really well. That's it, that's my kit. I buy through Svensson's in Alameda, California. I have a pro account. So it's a nice and favorable pricing and they are really good with service on this stuff. And since we're about to go to Mexico to our big try Raven's Wing, this is a carbon fiber swim ladder to hang off the back of the boat. It's replacing a metal ladder that gets a little bit rusty. And this is made from parts of my old mast. So it got the same paint job as the uh, F25C here. So it's been going through the process at the same time. It's ready to go. If you remember from the mast raising video, that's the new socket to hold the uh, gin pole. That got fared and painted in. It's pretty long. I might cut it off still. We'll see. After we get some practice raising and lowering the mast a few times. And here's why we're doing the happy dance. We are calling this thing done. Look at a gleam in the sunlight. That's the third coat of Alex Seal top coat done today. Actually managed to do the whole thing in one day. Started at about uh, let's see, about 9.45, first rolling, finished at 2 o'clock. Main hatch, float hatch doors, and the bow hatch. It's still pretty warm this afternoon, really hoping it stays hot through the afternoon so the stuff will fully flash off. If not, I have to do a bunch of buffing. The only bummer is a lot of bugs have died in the paint today. You can see them. So once this fully cures, we'll have to do some kind of buff the bugs out process. Man, it looks tasty. I still have no idea what to do color-wise with the stripes and how I'm going to do the non-skid. Thinking about Kiwi Grip. I've used it before. really like it. I'm not going to go crazy with non-skid. People just put too much on. You really just need, you know, like a six inch path on here, not all the way down over the edges. These combing boxes came out just fine. I have to do a little bit of brush work inside there. That's for a later time. Try to ignore the filthy undone cabin. That'll be next year. It's going to get too cold to paint here. Super slick bottom. It's going to be nice and slippery. We'll get that all waxed up. Once this paint cures, it'll be time to figure out the nets here. I have main nets. Need to make forward nets. Really love the clean bow. All the complicated stuff came off. We are getting closer to going sailing. Delicious.
delicious. We're going to leave this sitting here, let the paint cure nice and hard. I'm going to go down to Mexico and work on the big boat. Yeah, I can't stop looking at it. I'm super happy. These floats are big. Well, you know how things go. It took us through Halloween to get this boat painted. So we've set it aside for the holidays and we'll get back on it in the new year. Stay tuned for more.